Image copyright Reuters image caption Heather Heyer, 32, died after being hit by a car that plowed into a crowd of counter-protesters. If you are not outraged, you are not paying attention was the last public Facebook post made by Heather Heyer. The paralegal and Charlottesville native was killed after a car rammed into a group of protesters near a Unite the Right rally in the city on Saturday. Her mother told the Huffington Post she wanted her daughter's death to be a rallying cry for justice and equality. Heather was about stopping hatred, she said of the 32-year-old. She was there with her friends, and she was trying to simply cross the street as the movement was breaking up the day, and she was plowed down by a young man who was intent on spreading hate and thought hate would fix the world, she told NBC. Media playback is unsupported on your device media caption Marissa Blair, friend of Heather Hare, it was an act of terror at work Ms. Hare provided legal help to people at risk of repossessions and evictions. Her manager, Alfred Wilson, described her as a very strong, very opinionated young woman who was opposed to President Donald Trump and Jason Kessler, the blogger who organized Saturday's Unite the Right rally. She would literally sit in the office and cry at times because she was worried about what was going to happen to the country, he said. Mr. Kessler was chased away from a press conference on Sunday when he tried to blame Virginia's police for the outbreak of violence. Vigils were held across the country for Ms. Hare. A senior politician offered the condolences for her death. Image caption tributes have been paid to Ms. Hare, who died protesting the Farite rally in her hometown. A GoFundMe page quickly raised over $225,000, £190,000 for her family. James Alex Field Jr., a 20-year-old man living in Ohio with Farite links, was charged with her second-degree murder. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence condemned the act, saying we have no tolerance for hate and violence from white supremacists, neo-Nazis or the KKK. President Donald Trump has been widely rebuked for not denouncing those groups specifically, instead criticizing violence on many sides.